Hello and welcome to Aqua Lifestyle. I'm Glenn and today we're going to be looking at the Garmin EchoMap UHD series of chart plotters. The particular unit we're going to look at in this video which represents the series is the UHD 94SV. UHD, ultra high definition, the latest in Garmin's EchoMap series of chart plotters, fish finders. The 94, 9 in the 94 designates a 9 inch diagonal screen. The 4 in the 94 designates the kind of cartography that's preloaded into this particular machine, which is Garmin's G3 cartography, which covers the entire coastal United States and the Great Lakes. And then the SB indicates that this particular unit has side scan capability. So we'll start the video out by seeing what's in the box. We'll go over all the features and functions of the machine, highlighting uh, the main aspects of it, and then we will finish up with a pros and cons. So let's get started and see what this machine's capable of. Let's see what's in the box first item you come across is a sun cover. Now this is a nice added feature that some manufacturers and even Garmin doesn't include with other units. If you were to buy it uh, separately you'd be looking at a $25 to $30 option with other units. Also in the box is a template and a sticker. Everybody loves stickers. Next up out of the box is a new gimbal bracket design from Garmin with the EchoMap series. Very clever new design. You've got a single connector in the back, so you have a rubber cover that comes off there. You've got your connection on the back here. On a traditional bracket, you would have your regular bracket. On the back side, you would have all your wires plugged in. If you wanted to take the unit off, you'd have to take those wires off, undo the knobs on the side, unplug all your wires in the back, and take the unit off. With this new design, you don't have to do that. So let me show you how it works. You take your display, which we've got out of the box there. You have your connections on the back here. Well, this unit just snaps into the bracket, just like that, and you're all set to go. Connect all your wires in the back, and you're ready to roll. When you want to take it off, you just push down on the back here on the bracket, releases, off it comes. All your wires stay connected on the back really nice feature. Next out of the box is your display. This is a touch screen. This is my favorite part. For me it's like unwrapping a new toy. Anyway, you got a touch screen, you've got tactile controls on the side, and you have your SD micro SD card slot in the bottom with a little magnetic latch. Nice design. On the back You've got your one connection point for snapping into the bracket. Power cord. This is a ferrite. It snaps around your power cord. Stops electrical noise from coming up into the machine and affecting your display. Next is your transducer package. A lot of goodies in here. A lot of technology. A little collar that fits over the transducer cable to help you lock it into the back of the, the bracket. This is the transom mount portion of your transducer. This actually bolts up onto the transom. Your transom this way. Your transducer clips into here. And you have different sets of washers to go through and nuts to bolt it up so that it can either ratchet up if you want to ratchet, have it ratchet or lock it into place. This is a transducer trolling motor adapter. So this allows you to mount your transducer to this plate and then bolt it to the bottom of your trolling motor to mount it on the underside of the motor portion. The installation hardware, so if you have your transducer cable coming up through the transom, it's a little wire cover, some wire clamps and screws to hold it into place. This is the other portion of the transducer bracket. Uh, this is the part that goes into the bracket here and your transducer mounts up on the underside. One nice feature with this new series of transducers is the bracket is wider than the transducer 
and it comes all the way to the front, so it acts as a spray deflector shield. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later in the, in the video. And this little baby, this little jewel, is your transducer. This is the new GHT 54 UHD transducer. UHD ultra high definition. You have multiple elements in here. You've got your chirp traditional, you've got your clear view, and you have your down view and side view all in one transducer. You also have a temperature probe here to tell you surface temperature of water. Now this transducer is incredibly capable. Ultra high definition, so it's running on a very high frequency. Again, we'll get into more of that in a little bit further in the video. But the nice thing with this transducer, it's half the size of its predecessor. The GT51 was much longer. It's almost twice as long. Same width, but almost twice as long and a little bit bigger. So this is a much smaller transducer. You don't have as much meat hanging off the trans uh, as you did with those bigger transducers. And again, this is an all-in-one. You do not need another transducer unless you're adding um, pantopics to it. We'll talk about pan pantopics later on. Now if a transom mount transducer isn't what you're looking for or what you need, let's say you're putting the Echo Pilot on a, a sailboat for example, there are other options available that you can see on the Garmin website uh, under accessories listed for the Echo Map. So take a look there. As we start looking at the different screens starting with charts, please keep in mind resolution is much better than you see in the videos. Three types of charts here. Everyday chart, fishing charts, navigation charts, perspective 3D. Now this is a 94 model. 94 model comes with G3 coastal charts preloaded. Those include your fishing charts and all your bathymetrics, fishing bathymetrics for the entire United States preloaded in the machines. If I zoom in here, you can see all your bathymetric lines, this level of detail, wrecks, reefs, for example, here's my area of barge. Information on that fish haven tells me what it is. So you've got this level of detail. Notice how quick this is redrawing. It's very, very fast. Drawing chart information. I'll go back. Next is navigation charts. This one has your Navionics Plus and your Garmin G3 combined very detailed chart so you can get right in. Let's get into Stiltsville here, Key Biscayne. Very highly detailed charts. This level of detail, the entire coast of the United States preloaded in the machine. Nothing extra you have to add for it. So that's a really good value. Then we have Perspective 3D. Perspective 3D takes you up above the water as if you're looking over your boat. So you've got your boat here and it gives you a 3D perspective. You can spin around and see what's around you, land masses as you're navigating. You can see where the shallow water is through the depth contours, shading. Um, you can get a very good visual perspective, visual awareness of where you are and what's around you. You can actually change the angle of it by zooming in and out. So you can make it more like a traditional chart, or if you want to come right down on the boat, you can do it that way. And as you spin around, you're going to see the markers. You can see they're flashing as they would be flashing at night. You can see all your markers around you as you're navigating, along with your depth and shading. Really cool feature. Perspective a little bit, bring it up a little more, get a little better perspective from a higher vantage point. Able to do so. That's the charting. Now you can add charting by adding a G3 Vision card into an SD slot here. Now the G3 Vision card on the SD slot enables you to have uh, dock to dock auto routing along with some other features like aerial photography, aerial shots of major ports, inlets and marinas, depth contour shading, satellite imagery that you can fade in and out. You know, we're going to talk about G3 uh, cartography, G3 vision cartography in another video. Sonar. 
really got some options with sonar here. This new machine and this new transducer. That's your traditional. Very nice imagery and it is a true chirp. Uh, gives you your depth information, temperature, miles per hour, your voltage, and time of day. So, very nice. Dial it in, you hit menu, and it gives you all your options for that particular screen. You also have Clearview. Now this is the UHD ultra high definition version of Clearview and it's fantastic. I mean the detail that you're seeing in here is phenomenal. Structural detail, you can see branches on a tree, you can see uh, individual fans of coral, just fantastic detail. The UHD also applies to Garmin side view with these models. Uh, very high definition imagery on both sides of the transducer, which is in the center, that center line. Uh, you're able to see very high definition, the water column and what's on either side. The next screen, the traditional and clear view side by side, really helps augment and show how fantastic this ultra high definition clear view is. Uh, on the traditional, you can easily see where your fish are, where the red arcs. You can see the fish and the size of the fish based on those arcs. But uh, on the clear view, the detail of the structure is just incredible. You can see all the uh, intricate details and where fish may be holding up. Next option, clear view and side view. Side by side, you're going to find you're going to use a lot. Uh, you just got your down view and side view UHD goodness all in one screen. Next up is a three in one screen where you can have your side view, traditional, and clear view all on one screen. This really gives you the best of all worlds all on one screen and you can customize it and set it up whichever way you prefer. Really nice option, just click on each one to bring up a full screen. Next up is a split screen display where you can run two different frequencies at the same time side by side. Next up is the nostalgic flasher screen. This shows you what's in your beam real time. If we move over to the second home screen, the first option is data graphics. This gives you bar graphs of things like temperature and depth. Handy to see trends over time. Last but not least is recordings. If we had any recordings or depths, we'd be able to see them on this screen. So those are our sounder options. Next is frequently used and it's going to select the screens that you're pulling up the most often for easy access to them. Next are your Pantopics options. Now these are only available if you buy an optional Pantopics package with a module and separate transducer. So keep that in mind. These are phenomenal, but they are all optional. Let's show you what they're capable of. First, Live View Forward. Now your transducer is in the upper left corner here, and it is casting a beam forwards and showing you what's in that beam real time. Next is Live Down View. Now this is a really wide beam showing what's in that beam real time. Right here you can see you've got a lure hanging below the transducer. You can see a fish come in, strike the bait. Next is Front View. This is giving you a real time scan um, of what's out in front of the boat. And you can see it stretches out. Depending on your depth can go quite a distance. Next up gives you Front View 3D Forward Scanning. 3D representation in a scan of what's in front of you. Real View 3D Down does a similar thing, doing a slight forward scan of the transducer and a sweep back towards the back of the boat. Real View 3D Historical will draw a picture, a 3D rendering of the bottom, very similar to your traditional sounder, but in a 3D version. Uh, very clear to see what you've been over. Live scope. This is pretty cool. This is looking, this is your transducer here. It's facing this way. See in the diagram here, and it's showing you live view fish within that beam, and it is a really wide beam. Only good in shallow water. And then you got live scope down. There's your transducer, and this is showing you live scope straight down. Very, very cool. Autopilot control. You can actually control through NEMA 2000. You can interface your autopilot into it and uh, control your autopilot. One degree and 10 degree buttons to control steering. Combos. You got preset combos. Anything you want. You can set up different combinations here. You can see what your screen looks like. Split screen with the data bar. You can move the data bar. 
Okay, our next option, Customize, allows us to set up a window with whatever combination we like. We've got all these templates here to choose from, so let's try one of them out. Let's do this one here. So I click on that. The top bar, because it's wide, I want to put the sonar in there and the side scan. So I'll select that. There it is, pops in and populates. Next, I'm going to do a chart. Let's do the regular navigation chart. There it goes, populates the last window. Let's do another sonar. Let's do traditional. Boom, all three, there they are. Simple and easy to set up, just hit done to save. That's it. The number screens allows you to have just a digital readout of any information you want on the screen. Next up is the compass, great way to follow a heading or steer to a waypoint. Next up is your self-explanatory trip counter. Click in this next one when connected to optional NEMA 2000 connections to your engine will display all kinds of engine information act as a secondary gauge for your engine. This next one, wind, is important if you're a sailor and will give you good information if connected to a compatible wind transducer. The next button, environment, will display all kinds of useful information when connected to the appropriate optional sensors. The next screen, Active Captain, allows you access to your Wi-Fi network and connecting to your smart device with the app on it, enabling software updates, chart updates, and the like. A very handy screen, you'll find you use it often. Scrolling over to your second home screen, your first option is Media. Clicking on this gives you access to your entertainment system uh, via compatible head source. This particular one is Fusion. You can control tracks, tunes, volumes, what have you. Just make sure the unit you have is compatible with this display. The last option on your home screen is the Customize Home. It allows you to customize icons and set up your home screen to exactly what it is you want. You are also able to set up hot buttons on the side by pressing and holding each of the number buttons to instantly display favorite screens at the push of a button. So those are all the screens you have available on the Garmin Echo Map UHD series displays. Okay, so we've taken a look at the features that this machine is capable of and the series is capable of, and they are an incredibly capable uh, series of chart plotter fish finders. Pros and cons. Let's cover the pros first. Everything you get to value for the money for $50 more than the MSRP of the Plus, the previous system, you now get UHD capability, ultra high definition fish finding. It's uh, one of these things that uh, until you start to use it, you don't really appreciate it. And if you go back to a machine that doesn't have ultra high definition, it's like putting a pair of old glasses on. Everything looks a little fuzzy and not quite how it should. Once you use it, you're not going to want to go back to something without the high definition. Another pro is the preloaded cartography that comes in the 3, 4, and 5 series of the Echo Map chart plotters. Very highly detailed. Garmin now has uh, Navionics data input into their cartography, which was already excellent prior to that. Very detailed. Very simple to read, very simple to see, and with the features in here with the bathymetric shading, the addition of a G3 vision card to have color coding of your water depths, just makes uh, boating in areas you're unfamiliar with uh, that much more comfortable. shouldn't rely solely on the electronics, but uh, it does make life a lot easier. The bracket is another plus. Uh, excellent design, easy to snap on and off very robust. Theft is a big issue these days with chart plotters if they're left on the boat, so it's very easy to take it off and store it in a safe place. The transducer design on the new transducer that comes with this particular unit and the ones that come with the other UHD models is an excellent new design. Compact, much smaller, not as much transducer hanging off your transom. Wonderful options for mounting the transducers, some included with, some as optional extras that you can buy for them. The design of the transducer, just having all of that technology and high definition in such a small transducer with a transducer bracket that has a spray shield built into it. Previous models, unless you bought an optional spray shield and you mounted it on the transom, would spray water all over your outboard and the large rooster tail. That's no longer an issue with the new design could go on and on with uh, pros with this. Uh, let's hit some cons. There's not many with this particular unit. The 
cons as I see it with this series is you don't have touch capability in the smaller models in the Echo Map uh, 6 series and the 4, the 6, you have the tactile controls on the side, no touch screen. Unfortunately, you have to go to a 7 inch unit to get touch screen capability and the price point goes up there. So if you're looking for a small budget unit with touch screen, Echo Map at this point doesn't offer it. You have to go to a 7 inch unit. Another con I find with this machine is the fact that you have to purchase the Garmin Blue Chart G3 Vision Cartography to access some of the incredible functions this machine is capable of. At $350 or so a piece, uh, with limited coverage, this can get quite expensive if you're boating over a large area or cruising and planning on using some of these features. Uh, the features are fantastic, however. The color coding of your uh, charts, the 3D bathymetrics, the dock-to-dock -dock auto routing capabilities, the satellite imagery, and your um, depth relief shading are phenomenal features. Outside of that, it's an incredibly capable machine. The ultra high definition is phenomenal in shallow water. If you're in deeper water, it's not going to work for you. You're going to have to switch to your chirp and your traditional to get really good imaging in deeper water. That's just the science of the technology. The frequency, the higher the frequency, the better it works in shallow water. It, high frequencies don't travel well over long distances. so. Uh, the technology just isn't here to give you that kind of resolution in deeper water. That being said, in shallow water, phenomenal. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, please, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything that you would like to see, or if you have particular questions on this, please let us know. We'll do our best to get back to you. And please stay tuned for more videos covering some of the technology that Garmin has, along with other manufacturers. Again, thank you for watching, and be safe on the water.